Hello again and Christmas is getting so near now and to be quite honest I'm getting a bit worried I might not get this finished in time for Santa but I want to make sure that you do so I'm going to be going over the next couple of days all the different techniques you need to um, to actually complete this um, design which is a stag design on the printed stockings, Christmas stockings. Um, I'd just like to show you what I've been doing. I have completed the, um, I'll just show, you, just show you here. That's the cloud, um, that gray that I was waiting for, those two grays that Philippa gave me, really did give a bit more depth to, uh, to that snow cloud because uh, we've, we've had some snow here recently and yes, it definitely has a very deep, gray tinge to it. Um, so now what I'm moving on to is the closed fly stitch, which we, sh we looked at um, last time with Philippa. And that is to create these, these, I think these are more grasses here. If you like, see that there. And the color I've chosen to do that is this lovely, I call that a mossy green, and it's Appleton's 294. Um, and so when we're doing this close fly stitch, um, we're doing it in double thread and I've already thread my needle so that the loop is at the bottom of the, of the thread and I've got a very short turn at the end there. So let's get stitching. Right, so I've moved the hoop and I've put the, the plastic back on again to keep it in place. Just got to score this. It's not as easy as it looks scoring this uh, cling film, I find. <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't want to catch my, my threads. Right. So, working from what Philip has been telling us, and we've got the hoop, loop at the end. Loop at the end there, can you see? Um, we've got just a little bit further past where the blue line is for that. Oops, let me go the side of that. Keep the loop there. Let me come back up. Oops. So we've got the start of that. And then it was a long stitch down. Then come up each side of that. Oh, I think I've done that long stitch too far down. Hold the loop, come up again, and pull through. So we come one side, then the other side, hold the loop, come up further down, loop goes in, and there's this thing. Oh. Now that, and then couch that. I practiced earlier on the other ones and it worked really well. I've got that gap that Philippa mentioned before so I can pop an extra stitch in. So we haven't got that gap. That's what, I love what she says is, if you make a mistake, just, just stitch over it. So I'm going that side that side because we're going around a curve and then come up a little bit further down pull the needle now it's turning a little bit and couch that it's turning a little bit so i think maybe I need to put an extra little stitch in there and just go back over to that side just see if i can fill that hole see if i can fill that hole does that work? Oh, it does. And couch. <laughs> That's it. And then we come up one side. Then we come up down the other side. Hold the loop. Oh, we come at the bottom of that one. And pull. I really think it's such a magical stitch, this, because it just looks like um, a leaf. It's just amazing how it works. Now we're coming to that bend, so I think we need to we maybe need to put in an extra stitch when we've done this one. To, so leave a little gap there maybe. Will that take us around the corner? And then go back and fill that gap in. I wonder if this is the right way. I'm sure Philip will tell me if not. But if it looks nice and no one's killed, I 
think we're doing okay with this. <laughs> and as Philippa says, there's no, there's no crew work police coming to tell me I can't do it. Only Philippa's saying, that's not quite the way they would have done it, maybe. But that works, doesn't it? It gets us around that corner. Well, there's a, there's a little seeding starting stitch there for some of the white lid couch work, so it'd be nice to cover that up. So each side, one each side. Just come up at the end there. And down. Maybe not getting as deep now. So maybe if I come up here, go down there. Not splitting that, I don't want to split the wall. Maybe come a little bit further down with my stitch. Do that. That, it and then maybe have to go back and fill the space, maybe. Yeah, I'll go back and fill that space there, shall I? Did it the opposite way around then. <laughs> Just showing how ambidextrous I am. Um, there we go. That doesn't look as neat. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? <laughs> it did look okay in the end. So I'm going to finish these two here. And then what I'm going to do tomorrow is come back and we're going to have a look at how to do the other leaves in this design. If you just bear with me one second, I can show you what I've been doing before. If I just moved the hoop here. If you can see, there's, an, there's three more of the leaves that we're doing like this here and I've already done those so that was one a bit blue peter moment that that's one I did earlier and what we're going to look at next is these stick if I just move the camera a little bit you can see here we've got some flower some leaves here to come in so we're going to have a look at how to do those uh, next well I hope you found that useful to see how I'm fumbling about to do this but it just shows that without any any one-to-one -one tuition, just using um, sort of the guides, um, the videos that Philip has already done, we can actually achieve the, uh, the desired outcome. So um, next we're going to look at, as I was saying, we're going to look at the, uh, the leaf here and I promise we will get this done before the festive season is over. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.